Hi boys and girls. Um, so today we are going to find halves over two digit numbers by partitioning and that is what we've been doing this week. So I would like you to look at step by step on what we are going to do by finding halves of a number by partitioning. So we are going to start with, um, let's take a number like 64. Okay, so let me write 64. 64. Okay, so let me write 64. Okay, so now after writing 64, we are going to divide it by 2. When you're dividing by 2, it means that you are partitioning. You are finding half of a number, and that means we are dividing. Half means you are cutting into two, two parts. That's all. We're going to divide into two. So we have our tens and then we have our ones, which is units. So six tens is 60. Then four ones is four. So what is 60 divided by two? Huh? So I'm writing 60 divided by two, then four divided by two. When I'm writing like that, it means I want to find half of it. So what is 60 divided by two? Okay. 60 divided by 2. What is 60 divided by 2? Ask yourself, what is half of 6? Half of 6 is 3. Okay, so 60 divided by 2 is 30. Okay, then we come and look for half of 4. What is half of 4? Half of 4 is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then now when you reach down here, this is the tricky part. You have to remember that we have 30. And we have 2, so we are going to add. Okay, so 30 plus 2 is 32. So which means half of 64, half of 64 is 32. 32. Okay, so now let's go to our function unit. Let's see how we are going to find half of a number by dividing by 2. Okay. So now I have my function unit over here, and we are going to find half of a number by dividing by 2, just like the way we did. That side we were doing by partitioning, but now we have a function machine here that is going to find half of a number by dividing by 2. So for example, I have 10. This 10 will pass through the machine, and then it will divide by 2, and then we find the answer. So what is half of 10? So let's find out what half of 10 is. So you can see half of 10, when 10 passes through the machine, the answer comes back as 5, which means half of 10 is 5. 10 divided by 2 is 5, okay? So let's try another number. Let's see if we try another number, what comes out as the answer, okay? So I have another number, like, um, let's say I have. I want to find half of 18. So it is 18 divided by 2. Okay? So it's going to pass through the machine. So you can see 18 divided by 2 is 9, which means 18, half of 18 is 9. It has passed through the machine, and now the answer is 9. Okay? So let's take another number. Let's see if we take another number. What is half of that number that we are going to get? So let's take a number like. Um, let's take a number like. Uh, twenty twenty two. So what is half of twenty two? What is half of twenty two? So it's going to pass through the machine, which means what is twenty two divided by two? So you can see 22 divided by 2 is 11, which means half of 22 is 11. So you can now understand that when we are dividing by 2, we are finding half of a number. Okay, so let's try another number and let's see what is half of that number. Let's take a number like 24. So let's find half of 24. What do you think half of 24 is? If you put the 24 
the number 24 into the machine, then you divide it by 2. So I have my answer here as 12, okay? So which means 24 divided by 2 is 12, okay? How about, now let's get, let's get an, a bigger number. Let's see, if we take a bigger number like 36, okay? Let's take a bigger number like 36. Then let's find out if you have 36 divided by 2, which means half of 36, what is the answer? So you can see half of 36 is 18, which means 36 divided by 2, you get 18, okay? So, okay, that's it for today. I just wanted you to understand that when you're dividing by 2, it means you're finding half of a number. It means you are sharing. Sharing means you're dividing by 2. We have just shared. You can see when you share 36. 6 shared by 2 people, which means 36 divided by 2 is 18 when you share. 24 sharing a number. When you have 24, you share it by 2 people, it means you're dividing it by 2. Okay, and then that's, that's what you get as the answer. So that's it for today and bye-bye.